Oh my goodness, there's so much to prepare for. I don't want to get overwhelmed. Today is the 15th of January and I got an email today from AstraZeneca that I've been invited to interviews. But like handing things in was a bit last minute. I remember for that I had to have sent something to my proposed supervisor, which would have been Brian, my current boss. I submitted to Brian to submit on my behalf. Um, basically for the AstraZeneca one, I applied first to biochemistry and um, because the biochemistry um, application does not come with funding, so you have to apply for funding on top of that, which is why I sought out the AstraZeneca one. But the PIs, your prospective supervisors, um, are going to submit your stuff on your behalf. So I sent over my CV, a cover letter and my proposal to Brian and he sent them on my behalf. Um, my research proposal, which was the bane of my existence. Guys, I'm going to do a whole separate video about writing a research proposal because I went through a lot. That was a lot, um, I have to say. Anyway, I'm glad. So the deadline for the AstraZeneca one was the 8th of January, which was basically last week. Um, and... Even before we went on the Christmas break, I had been like telling Brian, like, yo, what do I need to send to you so that you can send it to them? So he was a bit hesitant about me like applying anyway, because we weren't, we're not sure how we can merge the project that has been proposed to something that AstraZeneca is interested in, because you know they're quite on the front line of generating more clinically relevant tools, so like antibodies and um, small small molecule inhibitors. So I have to really think hard about, you know, shifting the project towards that or seeing or finding a a mini project where AstraZeneca can really kind of have an involvement in. That's for the weekend. Um, but anyway, yeah, I got through to interviews. It's next week, Thursday, which means I have like seven days to prepare. Now, I also have the Francis Crick interview to prepare for but that will be in a different video like oh my gosh i was so scared that i would get nothing that i would put so much effort so much time so much education into applying and get nothing and now i have what two interviews it's stressful because i have them in such a tight turnaround and there's so much that i need to prepare for those interviews but this is the better option you know i'm glad that i don't have nothing because yesterday I actually got a rejection letter for the MRC DTP program, which was, I think, out of the ones that I had applied to in Cambridge, was one of the more competitive ones. I'm going to spend the weekend um, sort of thinking about, like, rereading my research proposal, rereading papers around that, and, like, actually just doing some overall overarching reading about AZ and what they're interested in and trying to again find where I can actually interrelate my project with AZ's focus <sighs> yeah but I'm getting flashbacks though to last year anyway <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I'm going home. It's almost nine. It is nine. It's Saturday. Oh, the 16th of January. And this is my to-do list for this weekend. This point here are for my AZ interview, which I need to reread my project proposal to remember what I mentioned there and think of experiments and kind of what are the main questions and where those, um, ex how those experiments would answer those questions and direct the next project. Um, I need to do extra reading around South 4 and see if, how I can find a link to the clinical relevance and how AZ, AstraZeneca, can actually be more involved, um, as well as read about their focus and interests for the interview so I can really kind of complement these two things together. Um, so yeah, these are quite heavy reading based things to do this weekend and I have not got out of bed yet. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Wish me luck. Hi guys, it is Monday and I didn't really do much this weekend, truth be told. I reread the project proposal and I did a bit of like focused reading of, of AZ. I know that they have like focus in cancer and some neuro, neuro related.
creative disorders and that i didn't really do that this weekend because i was i just needed some time off genuine oh my gosh there's so much to do <laughs> i try to not get overwhelmed i have to continue i have to continually remind myself not to get overwhelmed because otherwise i could just be like really stressed my body's already showing it as we see anyway i'll see y'all later blah, 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 blah. I can put this off. It is seven minutes past eight, twentieth of January, and I thought actually I'll just do a quick check in because I have my first official interview tomorrow morning at nine o'clock, <laughs> and it's the one for AstraZeneca. And I don't know how am I feeling about it. It's the first one. I'm kind of not sure what to expect because the, for this one there was less information given so I'm just going to quickly pull up the email that was sent in regards to this interview I am pleased to, to confirm below the details of your interview for the above studentship the four year AstraZeneca studentship at the Department of Biochemistry at Cambridge the interview process will consist of two 20 to 25 minute interviews conducted by two separate four person panels each comprising of three biochemistry PIs and one AstraZeneca representative. The purpose of these interviews is to explore your research interest and potential based on your past activities and this is the first panel and your future plans and career visions and this is the second panel. You will not give a formal presentation of either your past or future work however you should come prepared to discuss these facets of your past and future based on the questions that you'll be asked. The interviews will take place via Zoom video conferencing software and the times of your interviews are given below. So Thursday 21st of January, panel B at 9 and panel A at 9.30. So that's what's happening tomorrow. Two panels, um, one discussing um, more academic based, I guess, discussing my research interest as well as the potential that I have um, in regards to what's up here, I guess. <laughs> and then the second one, um, talking about my career plans as well as my career vision. So, in regards to preparation, let me just be honest and lay on the table. Um, I've spent most of my time actually going over the research proposal that I submitted. Uh, every time I look at it, I just get flashbacks to when I was writing that last year. Oh, anyway. <laughs> um, just to understand basically what I am proposing, what are the main questions that we want to address in this project, um, and what ways are we going to go about to address these questions um, so yeah one thing that I am worried about um, for this interview is trying to find a link that this project has, has to more therapeutic and translational fields because I know that AZ are, are very focused on more kind of clinically relevant um, projects it doesn't mean that your project has to be the most therapeutic translational like part because otherwise why would I be doing it in this lab to begin with something that I'm interested in basically um, understanding how cells make decisions how they undergo cell fate determination lineage priming exit and entry from pluripotency stuff like that but it's more on the bigger picture of okay how do they make this decision during development anyway I digress one, th one thing I realised though is that in regards to preparation, I have kind of gone down this rabbit hole almost of prepping for this and reading papers around it and trying to understand the project and you know what are the methods that I would use and I'm also understanding what techniques. Like guys, this was what I was writing. I was literally re reminded of university days when I would be in the library and just like drawing posters and stuff because that's how I that's how I learned like I had to write things down but I had to like also draw pictures and stuff I didn't do that as much for here because I, there, was, there was no point but yeah I basically have got <laughs> like a mind map of where the project is going and then I've got on this side as well some of the techniques that I am I'm planning to do and use in the project yeah so I'm ready for that but then I was like hold up <laughs> I know a lot about a project, 
but what about the more peripheral questions like why do you want to do a PhD and stuff like that I haven't like really thought about that because I kind of want it to be more organic because especially because one of the panels would be more of like your future plans and your career vision which are more of the the less academic the more you know like soft skills um, in regards to um, career and research so I guess I, when I get home today I'll just like ponder on some questions in that regard but yeah that's how I feel going in tomorrow I'm like I don't want to just I don't want to stress myself like it is what it is you know <laughs> um, yeah so I don't know, really know what to expect but then I'm gonna use this as kind of practice for the other ones that are coming up because my next one is on Monday 25th with Crick and then I've got another one in February with Kings so yeah I just want to go in like not chilled not completely chilled but I cannot come and kill myself either <laughs> I'm gonna come in early probably gonna get here by 20 past 8 and get myself set up and prepped in one of the meeting rooms in the building and yeah so I don't know future me I might be crying in the future about this but you know what right now <laughs> I can't come and kill myself really I really can't <laughs> um, yeah I'm literally the only one here It's time to go home. Let's go home. Let's go home. <laughs> Where do, you, where do you see this leading to? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be like completely honest. 